Hey there friends and welcome back. Uh, just wanted to give you an update on the Char Griller Tabletop Portable uh, Grill, which yes is also the smoker attachment for the, or the smoke box attachment for the larger grill. It could be a stand, it could be a smoke box, but um, just some thoughts after using it for several months now. Um, so I've only had the chance to use it maybe half a dozen times, um, but I've cooked burgers. I've cooked uh, some ribs, I've cooked uh, some chicken halves and chicken legs, um, so I've, you know, I've had a chance to kind of to test its versatility. Um, i got to say I'm pretty happy with it, it, it works well. Um, it has some interesting little quirks that I didn't really notice uh, when I bought it. So let's take a look at those first while I'm thinking about it. Okay, first up. Now, I knew this would be a problem, and that's that this handle gets hot as hell, you know, when this thing is uh, is going. So if you need to add more coal or more wood, you know, you need a pair of vice grips or a pretty good uh, hot glove to pull that thing open, you know, and, and uh, do your thing. So if you're bringing this on the go, just make sure you include that in your kit, because I've forgotten it more than once and just had to use some sticks or something to <laughs> pull it out, and it wasn't ideal. Uh, the next thing is that, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's super portable, and it, it'll actually heat up and cool down relatively quickly, so uh, you can move it around, you know, not too long after you get all the hot coals out of it or, or they burn off. But one thing that I didn't really think about when I got it was that this handle is right here by the exhaust. So all that smoke um, and the grease pours up on this handle. And the handle gets really nasty after you use it. So you have to wipe the handle down pretty good. And normally it needs some sort of degreaser or, you know, even some, uh, some uh, dish detergent, like some Dawn or palm olive or something like that. That'll help wipe it off pretty good. But it does get pretty nasty. Uh, the thermometer here, obviously, because of its location, you see on the far side, it's not really giving you a true representation of what the temperature is in the center, kind of on the grate over the cooking surface. So I've found that on this thermometer, there, there is about a... Yeah, it, it really varies. It'll be between 50 and 75 degrees difference. So right now you can see it says the things at, you know, I don't know, 310, something like that, 305. But inside on the grate, it's probably closer to 375. So so that's something to keep in mind. It's just a, an indicator, you know. You can, once you figure out the difference, that's, you know, that's what matters is that you realize there's a difference and you kind of, have a ballpark figure of where it is. That'll help you cook better food. Um, the grates are, are doing well. You can see they're kind of gross. I'm just cooking them off right now. I, uh, I haven't brought the brush out, but I'm gonna brush them off. Um, they are holding up well. Uh, let's see, somebody asked a good question about what I do with all the grease that drips down. And that is kind of an issue. It, it, it will just seep its way out of these seams at the bottom, right? It'll seep its way out of there. So, I've been cooking with this thing on a picnic table I made out at my hunting camp. And uh, I have to actually put a piece of cardboard under it and just let it drip on there. And then, I, you know, I'll throw it away. That's how I've been handling that. But I think... After this cools down, I'm going to drill some holes, and then I'll mount it a little cup, you know, so I can catch it myself and just dispose of it and keep it from making a mess. Um, but it does get down in here, uh, and really what I do is I'll just pull the tray out, and then when it's cool, obviously, and it's not hot, and then just grab some paper towels and wipe it out, and then uh, grab a little degreaser or some soapy water and just put it in there and wipe it off and then make sure I get it nice and dry blow it with the leaf blower um, and that's that and that's about how I care for it I have rubbed the outside I've just sprayed it with a little oil uh, I've used uh, Ballistol 
don't know if anybody uses that stuff, but it's just a spray oil, you know, it's perfectly safe to use on the outside here. I haven't had any paint issues, as you can see. I mean, I'll go all around this thing. Paint looks good, but I haven't gotten it super hot. I think I've gotten it up to where that thermometer said, uh, maybe about 450. So it's been pretty, it's probably been over 500 degrees in there, so... And if you put a lot of charcoal and open this thing wide open, then it can get really hot. But what I found is it's easier to cook with way less charcoal. So like in this chimney here, you can see it's not you know, relative to the size of the grill. It's, a, it's kind of a standard size, cheap, real cheap chimney that I've modified with my own drill, drilled holes, extra holes through here. But in this thing, I mean, even to cook burgers or steak, something hot, hot, I won't even, I won't f use more than this much lump charcoal. I mean, I'll put it in here, up to there, and that's, that's plenty. I mean, that's what's in here now. It got up to 400 degrees on the thermometer, you know, for about 15 or 20 minutes, and that's what you need. Because inside, it's 475, 450 at least, you know, directly over that hot, that hot spot, so... Um, so if you want to smoke something, I mean, it really takes just a little bit, you know, to keep it at about 215 or something like that. Just a little bit and a couple of pieces of wood. Um, and you just keep adding that maybe once, once an hour, once a, an hour and a half. Um, just add a couple small pieces of charcoal and a piece of wood, and it does fine. Um, so... I've been happy with it. Uh, it is what it is. I'm not expecting it to be, you know, some sort of miracle smoker or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's a nice little grill. It's worked as a, um, as a, you know, makeshift smoker, and uh, you know, with proper care. It should hopefully give me a uh, service for at least another five years. So, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, happy grilling. Later.